everyone. Today we're diving into the exciting new draft law on science and technology in Vietnam. So, like, let's break it down real quick. This law aims to boost the commercialization of SCI tech research, and it's backed by the Ministry of Science and Technology. It's a big deal, and honestly, it could open up a ton of opportunities for the business community. So, what's in this draft law? Well, first off, it introduces some unprecedented incentives and policies to really get the ball rolling. They're looking at pilot mechanisms for new business models, especially in advanced tech areas like AI, big data, and semiconductors. I mean, can you imagine the possibilities there? It's like they're trying to put Vietnam on the global tech map. Now, let's talk about the regulatory framework. This law isn't just a free-for-all, it comes with some solid controlling mechanisms for testing, evaluation, and reporting. They've got specific regulations tailored for different industries, which is super important. Like, we need to make sure everything is safe and effective, right? And then there's Resolution No. 57 and QTW, which really puts science and technology at the forefront of development. It emphasizes digital transformation and innovative production, calling for coordination among various ministries to ensure that everything runs smoothly. It's kind of like a symphony, where everyone needs to play their part to create something beautiful. Now, let's get into the mechanisms for commercialization. They're all about risk acceptance and controlled testing, which is, like, crucial for innovation. There are pilot schemes being launched in cities like Ho Chi Minh City and Haiphong. Plus, there's a focus on supporting innovative startups and technology incubation. It's honestly refreshing to see that kind of support for new ideas. International cooperation plays a huge role too. They're looking to partner up globally to really advance in areas like our iron, semiconductors, and even nuclear energy. Participating in global forums and shaping policies is, like, super vital for keeping pace with rapid advancements in tech. Looking ahead, it's clear that they're committed to continuously evaluating these pilot programs. Expanding networks with Vietnamese experts abroad is also on the agenda, which is fantastic. It's all about sustainable resources for research and development, and that's something we should all get behind. In conclusion, there's a lot of hope riding on this draft law. It's not just about policy. It's about real opportunities for the business community and the market at large. I'm honestly excited to see how this all unfolds. So, if you're as pumped about this as I am, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up, and drop a comment below. Let's keep this conversation going, reflecting on all this. It's got me thinking about how important it is to embrace change and innovation, even when it feels a bit overwhelming. There's definitely a sense of hope here, and I'm grateful for the potential that this law brings. Life's full of ups and downs, but it's moments like these that remind us to stay positive.